Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I've done um, seven videos of this motor and um, I'm just upgrading it as we go here. So we have the four magnets. Um, now I put uh, made a new coil. It's got 140 turns of two wires and um, the second one's the exact same, 140 turns of two wires so it's double stranded and um, I'll take a look at the timing. So I'm using a MOSFET circuit again and I have two timings so you can see these right here. So this one's on, this one's off and it just keeps rotating. So it's set up kind of like an H bridge and um, this is my little circuit right here. So it runs like an H bridge but it's actually two separate circuits with two windings. So two windings here, two windings there and uh, it just flip flops the polarity so works like a H bridge except you have a little bit more wire on there and um, this is one of the new circuits I made uh, if you guys are interested in my circuits just shoot me an email so anyway I'm um, just gonna fire this up a little bit so you guys can see how it runs and we'll put the prop on it and do some comparisons uh, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos um, there's seven other videos I would start with the first one you can see how this progresses. So the motor runs real nice and smooth. That's the amperage we're using. You can see the optos. And um, bear with me right now. I'm going to put the prop on so we could get a little low comparison. Um, the other circuits. All right. So on um, on the other circuit, we had. I did a um, Bedini circuit and then I did a, a single MOSFET circuit. So this one, this one's firing on every magnet now. So it pushes this one to here and then stops right there and then it, it gets to here. The next coil turns on. So every magnet is getting fired on. So we get much more torque and much more efficiencies. And then um, here's our, our battery voltage we're going to be charging, um, both 12 volt batteries. Here's our amp meter, and then here's our amp meter for the capacitor discharge. It's just my normal one I use on most of my videos. And then we have the typical Adreno pulse width modulator, so we could get a little bit more energy back. So let's um, fire this up. So this motor could go down to about 50 milliamps. Yeah, so there's 40 milliamps. So it's pretty pretty darn efficient. You know, we're running about 150, 200 RPMs, but you know, it's not much power. Um, it's actually not even enough power to, to kick my little capacitor discharge over. So let's bring this up a little bit. So this is 200 milliamps. And, um, See the output starting to pulse. And uh, we can check the RPMs at 200. So we're at 400 RPMs at 200 milliamps. And this is that 17 inch fan that I usually use. So let's bring that, let's bring it up to a half an amp because that's what most of the tests I've been doing on this motor have been at. So uh, right there we're at half an amp, uh, our output is quite a bit stronger, kicking all the way up past 5 amps on every pulse. And um, let's check our speed because before we were at like 4, 4 something, 500. So now we're almost 700. So I'm adding another circuit and some new coils. We're 
gaining the RPMs and much more efficient. So let's keep bringing this thing up. So at one amp, we're we're 12.5 watts. See what the RPMs are on it now. So we're just almost at a thousand, so 960. And um, this is probably the most power with most efficiency because we get quite a bit of energy back from it. But um, let's bring this all the way up, full power. If you guys can see that, but it's starting to slide on the ground. So, 2.4 amps at 12 volts, and we're 1400 RPMs, so that's your, that's the speed of your typical house fan that you buy these at Home Depot. So pretty good. Just two coils and a couple magnets. Alright guys, so tell me what you think. Leave the comments in the comments and thank you for watching.